Welcome back to Florida Power Book Club's YouTube channel. This is Stu Jones, and we are joining our members up in the Florida Panhandle at the Emerald Coast 2020 edition of the Emerald Coast Power Boat Week. And we're getting into episode three now. So far, we have had two days of boating fun right here in the Florida Panhandle, Thursday and on Friday. But today, it is Poker Run Day as we gather here in Destin Harbor for today's Poker Run, which will be on a course about 120 miles covering waterways from San Destin, Florida, and all through the Choctahatchee Bay area, and then westbound as far as Pensacola Beach. So before we get started with today's coverage, let's thank our sponsors. Florida Powerboat Club's 2020 series sponsors include Deep Impact Custom Boats and their associated brand, Blackwater Boats, Nortec High Performance Boats, Midnight Express Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Performance Boat Center, Mystic Power Boats, Superior Communications, and Mercury Racing Wide Open. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors, we were joined by these feature sponsors as seen here on our Emerald Coast Power Boat Week official banner, including Alocomp Insurance, Bent Marine, Emerald Grand and Harbor Walk Village, along with Glass Dream Power Boats. So here we are on this Saturday morning in uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida, as we kick things off from Brooks Bridge Marina. There's that cool shirt. And thanks to the gang at Brooks Bridge Marina for being one of our Poker Run uh, Marina sponsors and partners once again by giving us plenty of docking for all of our Poker Run teams and a great facility to fuel the boats, wash the boats, and have safe harbor in the evenings when we're out having fun. This marina is located conveniently right near the Marlar Park boat ramp, which we had a lot of coverage of in our last episode. And it's just about a two minute drive from the Marlar Park boat ramp and about a 10 minute drive from our headquarter hotel in Destin. This is the location where our safety teams have chosen to stage and that is all headed up by Ryan Kristen, uh, who has been our not only our media manager for this event, but also our safety manager. He's got two or three of these boats with local fire rescue paramedics on board who are trained to do water rescues. And if you ask, well, how can they do that with such a small boat? Well, guys, this is a Yamaha jet boat. It has no propellers and is actually the ideal rescue platform. Our safety teams are gonna have full coverage of our course today. Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run 2020 edition here. Stu Jones with my wife Jackie and our checkpoint girl Jasmine here at the Emerald Grand Harbor Walk Village as we get ready for the start of this big event. Now it's been six months since Florida Powerboat Club has had a poker run uh, so this is a big change for all of us and for many of the people here on this event. They haven't been out, they've been out boating but they haven't been on a poker run for months. So nice to be back here in Destin, Fort Walton Beach for this annual event. Seven checkpoints today all together. A little bit overcast here as we get started today. A light rain schedule, but not a lot. I think we're going to skip through today just like we did yesterday where we had perfect weather. Altogether, about 70 teams registered for this event, about 300 participants who've come from all over the United States to participate, and we're so happy that they have shown their loyalty to the Florida Powerboat Club to stay with us in the summer of 2020. So lots more action today as we continue with the poker run. Seven checkpoints total. The first one right here at Harbor Walk Village on the docks of Bogey Boat Rentals. The jet skis are out and the power boats are coming in for their first checkpoint, their first card for the day. So good luck to all of the teams and thanks for joining us here on Emerald Coast 2020. And in addition to several cameras being located around the course at various checkpoints, we're going to be flying today with Timberview helicopters from Destin Airport. We've got our photographer, uh, Jimmy Stewart, who's a local from the Destin Fort Walton area, and also shooting video in the backseat is going to be Ryan Kristen from RGC Media. As we cross over this beautiful view of the East Pass, and of course, that very famous landmark hotel, the Emerald Grand Resort, which is our headquarter for this event, as always. And one thing that I can't help noticing is just the extension here of Noriega Point. It was a huge project uh, where they've recreated this long beach. It's designed to produce a barrier for Destin Harbor, but at the end of the day, it provides an excellent beach for all the boats, and later today, it will be lined with spectators. So let's get ready to introduce our Poker Run teams. And a very special thank you to Charles and the gang from Boogie Boat Rentals for giving our Poker Run card girl 
Jasmine, a great platform to hand off all of the Poker Run cards. There she is, ready to go. Well, we got our first vote uh, pulling up here. Paul Bertusi in Beer Money, 39-foot deep impact. He's going to kick the day off right at 10 o'clock sharp here at our stop here at Emerald Grand Checkpoint number one for the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run 2020. And we are going to see a lot of teams from the Atlanta area here on this event, as we always do, beginning with Craig and Paula Ackerman, who are enjoying their 340X uh, MTI Cat a pair of Mercury Racing 450Rs. They took delivery of the boat exactly one year earlier, and they came back here as a celebration. So it's kind of a first birthday celebration for Team Sia, but it's also a wedding anniversary celebration for both Craig and Paula, who just celebrated 20 years of marriage. And it's two for two on the teams from Atlanta as now Josh and Colleen Kirkman pull up in this big 42-foot cigarette huntress called Dirty Duck. Uh, they've been here many, many times as Colleen reaches out. There she goes. Not her first rodeo. They have done a lot of poker runs uh, with the club in this 42-foot cigarette. They usually have about 12 friends on board. I don't know. They must have all slept in. And in addition to the state of Georgia, the state of Texas is going to have a lot of teams here on this poker run, as they always do. And regulars on this run are Terrell and Clara Clark, and they are now enjoying this Sensation 36, powered by Mercury Racing 540 stern drives, the very same motors I've got in my Cigarette 38 Top Gun. Now let's welcome Cruz Rutherford and her team, the owner of Glass Dream Power Boats, enjoying this uh, Glassstream 360 LS. Want to thank them for their continued support of this event as a manufacturing sponsor. And making her fashion statement today is Lynn Archambault up on the deck of that 43 foot outer limits, keeping it real. Lynn would have to be one of our most spirited first mates that has ever done this event. Year after year, they come back to support it and they have been loving this outer limits. They've had so many boats in the club prior to this, I can't even keep track anymore. But somehow this 43 foot outer limits powered by Ilmore V10s is keeping it real for this couple from Georgia. And a big shout out to Tony and Jessica Gilo from the Orlando area. They made an amazing accomplishment by driving this 39 foot Midnight Express all the way from Dunedin, Florida. Jim Duff and Jerry Swanson are from Mississippi and they're partners in this new 46 foot skater. It's unique because it's got that eight person cockpit and is powered by big Sterling 1800 horse engines. That's a total of 3600 horsepower and the engine builder Mike DeAnnabelle is riding on board today. The Fowler family have been on this event many times before, but it's their very first time on this brand new 38 foot fountain center console powered by triple Mercury 400 Rs. That's Kyle's mom, Lisa Fowler, getting the poker cart. They are another family from Georgia, but they do keep the boat in Florida at Panama City Beach, just 50 miles away. Steve and Lisa Young are truly in the poker run spirit with their sexy nurse outfits. And yes, in those syringes, I believe that that is a treatment for the COVID blues, which we have all been suffering for about six months now. And here's a boat that we have seen a lot of on this poker run over the years, Team Terrible, belonging to Jerry Swanson and piloted by Keith Snow. This is a 2001 46 foot skater. They've had John Tomlinson come and run it with them up to 180 miles per hour here in the calm bay waters. Now let's welcome Jim Duff and his crew here on this 41-foot cigarette powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. It's a very rare model called the SD41. What makes it different? Well, if you look for those outboards in the back, you don't find them. One of the few stern drive center consoles that Cigarette has ever built, the first one came out about seven or eight years ago, had Mercury Racing 520s in it, and they called it the 1040 boat. Cigarette Racing is known for building these AMG theme boats. They're the only company that has the rights to do it, and each boat is one of a kind. 
Chris Domino is from Texas, and it's his first poker run in this 30-foot Doug Wright cat powered by Mercury Racing 300s. You're probably going to see a lot of these cats in this 28 to 32 foot category because the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event is mostly on calm, protective waters, and it's ideal for these lightweight cats to let her rip. I cannot get enough of this really cool boat that was built by Yost Beckers, and he's got Jennifer, his wife, and his family on board today. It's a 43 foot saltwater steel. Another cool name for this boat might be 200 Saturdays because Yost tells us it took him four years of Saturday afternoons to put this boat together. It's all welded aluminum. He hand built it in his barn behind his house. He debuted the boat last year right here on this Emerald Coast Poker Run event. Since then, he's up to 450 hours and about 13,000 miles on the hull. We are going to break away from our segment at the Harbor Walk Village for card number one and get out here and do some aerials because I know you guys want to see some fast action and that's exactly what we have got a lot of. We'll get back to poker card number one a little later in the show, but meanwhile, let's catch up with some of our poker run teams and take a close look at some of these cool offshore power boats here on this Emerald Coast Power Boat Week. There was a slight chance of rain earlier, but that has cleared. The skies are blue. The winds are light and the bay waters are very calm, so there's going to be some fast running today. And we are now catching up with Chris Domino from Texas, who we saw just earlier getting his poker card. And as I said just a few minutes ago, these bay waters are ideal for these little cats and what a great place to bring them. This poker run is well suited for boats that start at about 25, 26 foot single engine. And this 30 foot cat with 600 horsepower, well, they're just having a blast as they cruise along these nice calm bay waters, heading for poker card number two at the east end of the course near Sandestin. And we're going to join now Kevin Kurkowski in the Grassy Ass, a 35-foot fountain with Mercury Racing 525s. He's been here many times before, and he has towed his boat all the way to South Florida and has joined us for the Key West Poker Run on at least a couple of occasions. We lost him for a few years uh, due to some health issues, but he's doing great now. And I know you can't see his face from this angle, but he has got a big, giant grin on his face because he is just having a blast. I enjoy Kevin's spirit so much because he is just a true ambassador for our sport. Sometimes these power boats change hands and they stay in the club for two or three owners and that's exactly what happened here with Terrell and Clara Clark. This 36 Sensation used to be a part of the Ariano collection, but he ran out of room in his warehouse because he couldn't fit any more fiberglass, but he kept buying more boats. And you know, something's got to give and it looks like this Sensation found a new home. But don't expect to see too many of this 36 foot model. Sensation Power Boats from Algonac, Michigan is committed to building center consoles, including their very popular 32, 34, and 40 foot models. Well, if you want to see the big dogs run, well, you have come to the right place. Jerry Swanson and his team are always putting on a great show. This 46 foot skater, Team Terrible, has been here on these waterways for more than 10 years and it's been on this poker run many, many times. It's running as good as ever with these alcohol burning 1800 horse sterlings. Let's listen in. Well, I guess you guys figured out by now that he never really pushed the throttles to put on a show. I guess he decided to just stay on cruise control so he wouldn't take off from the chopper. And here's a closer look at that SD-41. It's a one-off boat, the AMG-41 by Cigarette. 
built about seven or eight years ago. It has a speed record at Lotto, 105 miles per hour for a center console class with these Mercury Racing 1100s. It is truly one of a kind. And if you're wondering what's all that room underneath that center console, well, there's a huge cabin below in this boat. Not only is it sexy and sporty looking, it's also a great weekender boat with an air conditioned cabin, a full bathroom, and of course, a bed. Here we are catching up to this big 46 skater registered by Jerry Swanson and Jim Duff, Team 22, a 46 skater with big Sterling 1800s. Let's just listen to this beast roar. And now with these two 46 skaters running side by side, guys, this is the money shot. This is what we came here for. And we saw a little bit of this boat earlier as they came up for their poker card, but now she's up on plane, running strong, completely hand-built by Jos Beckers over four years. All welded aluminum, 43 feet long, powered by Cummins 550 turbo diesels and running strong here. Second year in a row now for this local team. They joined us here at the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week last summer. And since then, they went on and uh, continued to work on the boat and built this custom fabricated top. So now the boat is complete and time for some family fun. And it's more time for these center consoles, which are taking over the Poker Runs Cruise Rutherford from Team Glassstream, the Dothan, Alabama-based company, which isn't really far away. And the first time I laid eyes on this boat was at the Miami Boat Show back in the early 2020. Uh, got a chance to get on board and see that it is Poker Run friendly. It's actually built for Poker Runs. That's why it's got those triple Mercury Racing Verado 400Rs. Plenty of seating forward and aft. Twin step tall with a 10 foot beam. Uh, very easy to move this boat around on a trailer, which is what makes it so poker run friendly. And fully equipped at just over 300,000, I think it's an ideal way to get into poker runs. Well, I know by now a lot of teams have gotten up and are out on the waterways. Let's get back to our checkpoint number one with Jasmine and see how she's making out. And there's a handful of these big outer limits on the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event. Greg Del Monte, one of the farthest traveled though, came from New Jersey. Greg had it set up really nicely. He flew in from New Jersey directly to uh, the regional airport here, while Jason Ventura from Brand X trailered the boat all the way up over 600 miles from Pompano Beach. And here's a brand new uh, Nortec 390 uh, up for their car. This is actually under the Nortec factory banner, uh, but it's Todd and Pam Martin, uh, their first time doing an event with the club, uh, signed up through the factory. A brand new uh, 390 with Quad Mercury 350 Verados. And a very different Nortec now, the Nortec 477 SBX powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. It's Brad Hancock from Georgia and he's been here many times before. In fact, he won the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week the year before. And it's a brand new cigarette for Mike and Susan Pasco, another team from Georgia, a 2021 cigarette Nighthawk 41 center console. Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs custom paint. It matches his cigarette 42X, which he just sold. And yes, indeed, we are in fountain territory here as Kevin Krakowski pulls up from Texas in the grassy ass, 35 foot fountain with a pair of Mercury Racing 525s.
And I continue to be amazed at just how many Nortex are showing up on these events. This is Daniel Ferris in his Nortex 340 Sport, Triple Mercury Racing 400Rs. Team name is High Bid. What an appropriate name for a poker run. And Brandon Mayer is a long way from home down in Fort Myers, Florida. He's got dad reaching out for the poker card, uh, but getting a lot of use out of this C4000 cat from our sponsor, Mystic Power Boats in Deland, Florida. One of the first ones built is powered by a pair of Mercury Racing 450Rs, and it's got a new wrap, Sweetwater Landing, which is the name of the marina that they own and operate down in Fort Myers. Let's say hi to Scott and Monica James, and it looks like their daughter-in-law, Mariana James, gets the lucky job today of picking up that poker card. And look how perfectly she matches the boat's graphics. Wow, Monica, that must have been you planning all those bikinis to match, right? Of course you did. And you can't see it, but the guys both have matching yellow underwear. And let's say hi now to Bill Pico and his crew from Texas in their 32-foot sensation, Team MCOB. Well, I had to look it up, but then I realized that's the name of the model of this sensation. In fact, a very popular one, it stands for Mid-Cabin Open Bow. And here's a closer look now uh, as we catch up with Cruz Rutherford and her crew on this 36-foot Glassstream 360 LS model. Just another one of the many companies that are doing great with these center consoles because of their popularity on poker runs. And Jasmine is doing just a wonderful job, her first assignment here on our Emerald Coast Powerboat Week, handing off the poker card from Harbor Walk Village. And now it's to Chet and Chris Batchelor who came from Alabama to join us with this 23-foot Baja Outlaw, it's a 35th anniversary, built in 2006 and powered by a single Merc 496 HO. Let's say hi to Bubba Crisco now, who's had a lot of boats in the Florida Powerboat Club over the years. Team War Party, well, it started out with an Apache years ago. That became a cigarette center console, and now it's this 33-foot airship powered by a pair of Mercury 300 Verados. And let's say hi now to Mike and Tara Kimball with the lovely Tara up on the bow, picking up the card from what is now their new boat. They've done this event many times before, but they did it in a Sea Fox, which I believe was a 28. So this new Pursuit 368 center console is a big step for them, and they needed it because look at they have just got a lot of friends that they like to bring on the poker run. Now let's welcome Team Bent Marine all the way from Louisiana. They're here every year, big supporters of this event, but not with one, but two boats this year. Greg brought this 392 Superfish. He sells a lot of these at Bent Marine in Louisiana. There we go. Let's say hi now to Patrick McCarty. It's another one of the Bent Marine team, but I'm gonna give this one a much higher score for team apparel. I mean, how can you beat three pink bikinis all at the same time? And a very special thanks to Team Bent Marine for a big showing with both teams here and their highly spirited crew members who kept the party going all day and all night long. Well, we're going to break away from the uh, dockside poker cards again and get back up in the helicopter for some high-speed action over here on these bay waters as the teams continue to head eastbound. We're now catching up with Bill Pico again. We just saw him a minutes ago, dockside. But here's a great shot looking down into the boat. You can see that mid-cabin and that open bow forward. This was a very popular model for Sensation Power Boats from Michigan, but you won't see them building them anymore. All they're doing is building those center consoles. And we had a little shot of this boat earlier in the show. This is one of our safety boats. I think it's the smallest safety boat that we've ever had on a Florida Powerboat Club event, but it does the job. It certainly has plenty of room in and around the cockpit. It's uh, jet powered, so there's no propeller. If they do have to do an in-water rescue and there's anybody in the water, well, you're not gonna get messed up by a propeller. That's a good thing. Uh, it's not very fast, obviously, but they don't have very far to go today. They're just hanging out in the Bay Area. Gotta love this GoPro shot as we 
follow here in the R44 and start to close in on Jim and Lynn Archambault from Georgia. Showstoppers here every year for many reasons. Well, first of all, because they always have a really spirited team that are having fun, uh, but also because this is really a one-of-a-kind SL43 Outer Limits uh, sit-down version with Ilmore V10s. And uh, when Jim cranks the throttle, it's go time. And the scenery changes uh, for this next few shots. I think we're up here in Boggy Bayou as we catch up with Daniel Ferris in this Nortec 340 Sport powered by Triple Mercury 350 Verados. They're from Florida. I'm not sure what city they're from, but take a good look at this uh, 340 model. One of uh, Nortec's very popular center consoles. They've been building for over 10 years now. Lots of room for plenty more friends, but they're just chilling out with the captain and first mate today. And we're super high up now as we start to catch up with Team Black Diamond Express down here on the left side of the frame. That's a 340X uh, MTI model, pair of Mercury Racing 400Rs. And I know it says Derek Walker, but he's probably driving his 52-foot MTI called Black Diamond. Uh, he's got several boats and a huge crew and a lot of captains who love to drive. So there's never a shortage of somebody to get behind the wheel. He's going to be teaming up with the other boats here shortly making his way eastbound on the Bay Waters towards Sandestin, probably going to rendezvous with that checkpoint number two very soon. I think it's been at least three years already since this 340X was released, this new model from MTI. This was one of the very first ones built. And what's unique about this one, you can't see it, but it's concealing a bunch of fuel cells that are used um, to service the bigger boat, the 52 MTI. Those are race fuel cells, and they actually have pumps on board and they can pull up alongside the 52 MTI and fuel it up with race fuel. It's running on Mercury Racing 1550s. And that is one very unique feature from the creative minds behind Team Black Diamond. And it looks like the Fast Cats are having a blast today. Weston Harlow in his 35-foot DCB Team In Too Deep. It's new to him. He just bought this from a fellow club member just recently, a pair of Mercury Racing 700s. I've ridden in this boat. It runs great. And it's got a very spacious cockpit. I got to say, Wes, you have come a long way since you started doing this poker run about 10 years ago in a 26-foot rinker. And right alongside, here's George Ariano on the left getting some great air in that 29-foot DCB powered by a pair of Mercury Racing 700s. A lot of power for this little cat, but that's the way George rolls. His other DCB, well, it's got 1350s. And as expected, uh, a lot of our teams are now arriving here at checkpoint number two. It's a yacht positioned right here at Sandestin, as a lot of the teams are now gonna one by one come up and get their poker card. We're gonna get on that yacht with a camera. We're gonna have a lot more action in our next episode, but we're hitting that half hour time as we cross over this big 52 Black Diamond, and we are going to see a lot of that boat and the rest of the Team Black Diamond in our next episode, as well as highlights from this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week 2020 edition. Guys, if you want to subscribe, just take that cursor up to the top of your screen, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell so you'll get all the updates every time a new episode is released. And we've got plenty more with highlights of this Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. We got slowed down by COVID through the summer months, but we're back up on a regular schedule now. You can check out all the upcoming Poker Run events on the club website at flpowerboat.com and get all the information you need about our many membership programs. And for those of you who love Facebook, well, find us at Florida Powerboat Club. Please like our page and follow all of the updates. We're also on Instagram and on Twitter. And to all of our viewers, uh, we love your great comments that you're leaving for us on our channel. But if you need to reach me for any questions, you can always email me directly. It works fastest at stu at flpowerboat.com. 
So we're going to say goodbye for now. This is Stu Jones from the Pompano Beach Studios here with Florida Powerboat Club, along with our producer, Ryan McCoy. We're going to sign off, guys. But remember, if you're out there boating, remember to be safe at all times and be responsible for the safe operation of your own boat. Wear those life jackets and always be respectful to your fellow boaters. Bye for now.